Salty C says, of course Nick is siding with Dick. <laughs> and this is how it fucking goes. If you don't ally yourself purely in the way that I want you to, you're allying yourself with the enemy. So I'm going to reiterate my stance on this issue, but I'm going to talk about why this is uh, so fucking complicated and frustrating. I 100% and unequivocally support Eric July. Absolutely. I went through the trademark lawsuit with Kurt. We both agree this is an extremely weak case, should not have been brought, and are both surprised based on what the company received that it was brought. I want Eric to win this thing. I want him to make millions and millions and millions of dollars. I want, I like, I legitimately look up to his success. Like he has blown everybody away with how he's done this rip reverse thing. He's done it in, in what I think is the best way to do it. He invested his own money. He got the comic ready to go. It was basically like when you're, you're, doing a pre-order, not a promise order like most Kickstarters where, hey, I need the funding to help me do this and then I'll send it to you. He said, no, we're doing this and then people will order it and then we'll ship it as soon as possible. And that's why ISOM 2 is already going to people's hands. Fucking amazing. And again, I have always said I, I want Eric to win. I want him to win bigger than he's winning and he's winning really fucking big. But that said... But that said, here's the thing. People who have followed me long enough probably know this. I do not. I do not throw people away. Uh, I don't condemn them. I don't like disassociate. People 99% well, of the time disassociate with me. I'm a criminal defense attorney at heart. So uh, someone does a bad thing. It doesn't really, it doesn't get to me that fast. Let's get some convictions. Let's get some evidence. Let's put it out there. So while I 100% support Eric July and uh, in this, I'm not going to immediately condemn Dick Masterson, who have known for a very, very fucking long time now, um, lots of years on the internet. Uh, and this seems very out of character for him to have done. Now, I know a lot of you people will disagree with that. I guess you, you say, no, this in character for Dick. I don't think so. But I don't, it's not my job to convince you. I don't care what you think about it, right? This isn't about what you think about it. This is how I have to approach this issue because I have someone who I know seems out of character, doesn't seem like they've done it, and I haven't seen good evidence that they have. I have stood by people on the internet unreasonably too long until shit really comes out. I can't imagine changing that now. Though don't get me fucking wrong. The easy answer in this is to take Eric's side. And I think Dick would probably just be like, yeah, well, whatever. Like, I get it. Eric has a way bigger audience. The monetary potential is much, much higher. It's easy to be cheered on. No questions. Oh, Nick, you finally realized what was, yeah, yeah, those guys suck or whatever. That's the easy answer. But it compromises who I am and who I've been in regards to everybody else that I meet on the internet. And I can't do it. I can't do that. That being said, let's get a couple things out. Cause and I know this thing's gonna be uh decontextualized to death. And I there's no way around it, guys. There's no way around it. If Dick and Vito contacted this church, if that happened, which I know people think it did, okay, for the purpose of the argument, I accept it. That's not illegal. That violates a rule of the internet that most of us adhere to that I think would be bullshit. It's happened to me, by the way, and I think it's really fucking lame. My fear of the beard shirts with Thai beard on the face that I sold like 10 of and made uh, $90, I think, total off of them were taken down by the Robertsons, uh, the Duck Dynasty guys, because they trademarked Feared the Beard. All right. Like, I could make arguments about it, but at the end of the day, someone contacted the Robertsons 
and their lawyer retardedly sent me uh, a cease and desist and they took down my Teespring listing for it. I thought it was fucking gay. It's, it violates the rule of the internet. All right. And I would be really fucking disappointed to find out that Dick and Vito actually did this. I haven't seen that yet, but I would, I'd be really fucking disappointed to find that out. And if that's tangibly shown, then of course I would, you know, be like, Hey, that's really fucking stupid. But until I'm shown that I don't just discard people and certainly not over accusations and certainly not over gay fucking tribal internet slap fights, which always have hyperbolic expressions of what has happened. And I'm not about to start now. Have I missed something? Like, is it possible that there's some part of the drama I don't know? Yeah, I've learned stuff as we go. So I know there's possibly stuff that I'm not aware of. I'm always open to new information. But until I get good information that shows the thing that is bad being done, it's not going to happen. I know that's going to make some people pissed off. They may not want to watch, whatever. Maybe piss. Sorry, guys. It's me. That's that's how I do things. And uh, I, I don't. I do things that are not to my benefit sometimes. That's just how I believe people should be treated. And it's probably because I was raised in the 80s and the friends that I've made in real life, uh, those friendships last. Even when your friend's a piece of shit, they're still your friend, right? It takes a lot to sever them. That doesn't change because it's the internet. I would give Eric July every amount of deference that I would give anybody else as well. Uh, that's not, it's not a unique thing. So. I know some people want like some easy answer. Uh, I, I don't do that because I'm an idiot and I have no concept of how to run my own business, but that's how it's going to be. Uh, Summary support. Eric hundred percent lawsuit is bogus. He should not have to deal with it. Uh, the troll, whoever it is, if it's Dick, if it's Vito, if it's Dick and Vito jerking each other off into each other's mouths while uh, doing this, or if it's some third party, whoever sent the email, uh, if they intended to fuck with Eric's business, that's really fucking gay. If they sent a joke that they never thought would manifest in a lawsuit, which I think is kind of the likely outcome, whoever sent this kind of looks like they wanted a response by email, not a lawsuit. But if they did that, also gay. Also gay. But at the same time, uh, I don't, you know, I don't cast away people I know over an accusation without some real fucking evidence and it's not there yet it may exist but it hadn't been presented so that's that if you ask me to take a side on it uh th that is my side my side is i want eric to win a million times and uh but i don't think that eric winning and dick and Vito being quote unquote guilty are mutually exclusive things like they they can both be true untrue whatever uh so we'll see the writing's on the wall, folks. The purity test is already here and it's only going to get worse. And this is what I've said. I said it with the legal bites and the law tube shit back during uh, Johnny Depp. And I'll say it again. Any movement or person or whoever who demands I take some allegiance side because of any idea, you know me, I'm gone from whatever it is. Uh, I don't, I don't do that. I don't give a shit about whatever group it may be. I don't care about some insular community at all. If you ask me to take a side, I'm out of whatever your thing is. So peace.